What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As you saw in the thumbnail, we're going to be coding uh, my Mini Cooper. So, um, welcome to the video. My name is Gus and this is Kelly Rebuildables. Now, uh, the Mini Cooper that I will be using is a 2014 uh, Mini Cooper Countryman. And you can use, this works on many Mini Coopers, this works on bmws this works on mercedes audis volkswagens um and i don't know how many other cars you might you could check you could go down to the website i'll leave the link in the description and check um if it's available for your car so um let's go to the video okay as you can see i got no check engine light So this one's gonna go somewhere around here. There we go. Yeah, you can see the red light flashing right there. So everything's okay. Um, so as you can see right here, I'm moving. I have the Mini Cooper <coughs> 2014 gasoline R60. So that's my car. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and connect. Okay, so there we go. Um, so you right here on the, as you can see, it says fault prob probability, medium, mileage fraud, probability is very low, digital speedometer, that's um, a, a, a coding that, that's um, recommended, and additional features. So for now we're gonna go, yeah, so we're gonna go now to features. coding there we go we're gonna do a coding continue to coding you're gonna check compatib compatibility guys compatibility 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 I don't know how to pronounce it guys <clears throat> so you see use five all compatible so now these are the options for you guys that if you have a mini just like this 2014 Mini Countryman. Of course, if you have the the um, SL4, it's gonna be a, a more top of the line Mini Cooper, so maybe your options will be bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and read from the car, backing up the data, just like the BMW, guys. If you own a BMW, whatever car you guys own, except. Um, I don't think they got a Carly adapter for American cars yet, but that would be really, really cool if they do. And um, it doesn't have to be in your phone. You could download the app on a tablet. So um, that way you could have a, the application on the tablet and bigger, it looks it looks better. But um, here we go. Comfort start. I have that on. Ignition key just has to be tapped once to start the engine after ignition is turned on. Okay, comfort jack is gonna be the same thing. That doesn't something that doesn't that's not something that you would want to code. Using remote, press and hold that thing's on. Okay, this is off. Press and hold the lock button on the remote to close all windows and sunroofs. So in case you left your windows down, you can just press the, the um what's it called the lock button and it'll bring all the windows up. So that's something that's worth coding. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You can see I pressed it on. I'm gonna go ahead and code the car. Turn on the engine for coding. There we go, I turned the car on. Go ahead and code anyways. Press OK. Understood. So now the car is being code, coded. <coughs> there we go. Please turn the ignition off and on again. There we go. It's off. I'm open the window just to make sure. Not the window, the door just to make sure everything. I'm gonna restart it. And supposedly we're good, so I'm gonna turn it back off. 
and um, we're gonna try it. So that feature on this car wasn't available before. I'm gonna go ahead and even open the that. I'm gonna leave it like that. You can see the sunroof is on. I'll press the button, hold it. There we go. See? Okay guys, so we are back to the coding app. And remember we were in the first one, so we're gonna continue on that one. Okay, we're gonna read from the car again because um I was gonna read before we if we do a mistake we could have us uh, to go back and fix the errors that we made. So um we were at comfort close that one comfort folding for side view mirrors when holding the lock button on the remote the side view mirrors automatically fold down that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so those are off i'm going to turn those on other one i'm just going to go ahead and code one up one at a time so we're going to go ahead and code the car understood okay tell me that's not cool guys tell me that's not cool i mean my this car came with with that feature you know hidden you you could i mean locked oh uh, man the battery's about to die on my phone but um all right my phone's about to die so um give me just a second okay guys so i got a charger is it working yes it's working so uh we're gonna go to this one now and that's gonna be that's gonna give me all the codes, all the coding for the for the dashboard and stuff like that. Instrument cluster. So digital speedometer. Here we go. It's on. Permanent. It's on. Correction analog speedometer. No, I don't want to correct the analog speedometer. Speed limit warning. It's off. <coughs> That's for when you hit a certain limit, it'll it'll warn you that you're exceeding that limit. That limit, but I think that's kind of a, that's gonna be kind of annoying, you know, all the time giving you a warning that you're exceeding that limit. Um, ignition key warning. What is that? That thing's on. Gear shift indicator. Gear shift indicator in the on the onboard computer to activate this function. Also activate other coatings for gear shift indicators. Okay, so we gotta. I guess there's like a light that's gonna tell you when to shift. I think that's pretty cool. So, it's telling me I have to activate all the other ones. So that was gonna be the first one on, two out of two on. So that's pretty much I it on this. <coughs> that's pretty much all I wanna code on the instrument cluster. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and, and code the car. That's super easy guys, super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car off. I'm gonna... Okay, okay. So we're gonna go back to features. Maintenance, services and stuff like that guys. You could also read codes just in case you had a check engine light. Um, right here. OBD functions continue to OBD. I'm gonna turn the car off. Oh, I turned I turned the car off and I lost the connection, guys. Please connect to your vehicle or to yeah. I turned off the car and I lost the connection. So I was gonna take another <coughs> good minute to well, less than a minute to get back on on the connection but um either way like i said guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think personally i like it ever since i got my first one for the bmws i had to you know have it and now i have this universal one a much better carly adapter and i like it also um you guys saw all the cool things you can do with the Carly adapter and the OBD reader. The Carly adapter and the Carly app, I meant. So, I'm just gonna 
stop that right now so that's the video guys i ended up coding the car as you saw i did sell the mini now i don't have the mini with me no more so um i believe that was the last of the mini that we're gonna see but um you know i do have a universal adapter that works with other cars bmws minis and stuff like that so um let me know what you guys think of the video let me know if you guys like this subscribe if you haven't for more videos similar to this and my name is gus like i said and this was calendar buildables